Autodesk Moldflow has added a number of usability improvements to improve the overall workflow and the ease of use for the analyst. A user has the ability to customize the ribbon by adding your own tab or panels, allowing the user to choose the commands and tools that they use most and the order that they'd like to see them in the toolbar. The user also has the ability to export this customized ribbon toolbar so that it could be added to additional computers and used as a company standard. Local mesh sizing has improved usability. The analyst has the ability to specify several mesh density groups based on bodies, faces, or edges. Users can now mesh multiple areas using various local mesh settings, giving the analyst more meshing control. Users can now offset a region of the mesh by selecting triangles and specifying a move distance from the original position. When the distance is positive, triangles will move outwards. When the distance is negative, triangles will move inwards. This tool is helpful to change dimensions or thicknesses of features. The extrude function will translate a selection of triangles to a new location and joins the repositioned triangles to the rest of the mesh with a linear tube of triangles. This tool can also specify either a positive or negative dimension, depending on the user's desired shape. Fill hole has been enhanced. The user can now search to highlight all elements around a hole or search the previous way using nodes. The program will also now follow a curved surface shape. Plane cut allows a user to cut any mesh part with a defined plane. The plane can be one of the three main datum planes and will be displayed for preview purposes. A reference point will then be specified to define the position of the plane. The user has the option to fill in any holes or to leave the cut side unfilled. This tool is helpful to cut symmetric parts in half. New selection tools have been created to support the new editing tools. Triangles can be selected based on planes or cylinders. Nodes can be selected on the same surface or along an edge. When using a dual domain mesh, the mesh statistics will now advise whether your model is suitable for dual domain. When a user locks views for open studies, and turns on the cutting plane, it will be synchronized across all locked windows. The same cutting planes will be shown on all locked windows and will animate in sync. Legend bars are able to be moved around the graphics window and sized to the user's preference. These new improvements will help an analyst workflow and efficiency by improving overall ease of use and reducing mouse clicks.